Hey, what's up, everybody? This is coming to Sites on another segment of My Mom Mondays. And on today's segment of My Mom Mondays, what I just want to talk about is I'm not too sure if everyone's been watching the news on the Washington Commanders, unfortunately. I don't like that name. But um, on the Washington Commanders with the uh, defensive coordinator, Jack Del Rio. And so basically what occurred was over last week, he basically tweeted out that uh, pretty much comparing the riots to uh, – the, uh, the riots on the Capitol to the protests for uh, George Floyd, basically making a comparison of it and basically trying to, in some ways, try to say, like, the people who was involved with the Black Lives Matter and the uh, George Floyd uh, movement, they didn't get in trouble for, or it wasn't perceived as bad for basically what occurred with the, you know, the rioting and stuff like that. But the, the Capitol riots, it made it look bad. And he doubled back down on it in an interview and he basically called the Capitol riots a dust up. So this is my opinion on it on it. Um what I pretty much feel like is this. First of all, the cause behind the George Floyd movement and the riots are completely two different things. We we're talking about comparing Somebody live that was lost, and in, in multiple lives, and multiple, in multiple times where police brutality is something that occurs on a day to day basis, where our humane rights are being pretty much stripped from, stripped of us from the police, compared to a man being upset because he lost an election. That's two different things. You can't compare someone losing his life to someone losing an election. That's just like me basically saying. A mil me losing a million dollars is the same thing as me basically losing in a football game. That's two. Di that's two different things. It is. It's, it's, it, it, it don't go together. The riots was worse. I mean, hell, they they pro they they stormed the Capitol building. The the United States Capitol building, the most supposed to be the most protected building in all of the USA. They did that, whereas. You see people basically riot and, and damage buildings and property that was in their neighborhood. It's still two different things. And it's not like the people in, our, in the riots, it was just local. People from the Capitol riots was all over the U.S., not just from D.C. It was everyone from different states. Two completely different things. That's what I'm just getting at. And I don't want to talk too much about it. <laughs> There's a lot of stuff going on. But um, that's all I really wanted to say. And my biggest advice to, if, if, if someone was to see this, even Jack Del Rio, and I say this to anybody, anybody if you open up your closet, you got to expect people to look into it. And if they find something you don't want them to see, you don't want to open up your closet to everyone. So now they're going to see you for who you are. And that's what's going to happen to Jack Del Rio. He opened up his closet to everyone to see. And now there's going to be stuff coming on, coming up about him that he ain't going to want people to see about him. And it probably could hurt him in the long run. Again, another job opportunity or even losing his job right now. He already lost $100,000 due to a fine. So he better hope in the next few weeks. People don't start looking more into what he's been doing, his tweets and all that, because I'm pretty sure all that stuff's going to come up. And when it comes up, he better hope he don't have anything out there that's that's crazy. Because if he do, he's gone. But with all that being said, that wasn't a threat. But with all that being said, y'all, this is Kimlin Sykes doing another segment of My Mind Monday.